Welcome to Born to Live, brought to you by Christ Holy Church International, Odozio Budo, every Wednesday, 12.30 to 1 p.m., here on Odenibo, 99.1 FM. Good afternoon, dear listeners. I welcome you to this Born to Live radio broadcast, brought to you by Christ Holy Church International, Nation Builders, at Odenibo. Wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, I pray that the Lord will touch you in a special way. Are you sick? Are you downcast? Are you suffering disappointment or all sort of ailments? Are you suffering from any unpleasant situation? Our God is abundantly able to deliver you as you join us in this broadcast. I am your gospel friend and host for today, Senior Evangelist Christian and Abel, representing the General Superintendent of Christ Church International, His Eminence, the Most Reverend Dr. Daniel Oko. Shall we pray? O oh Lord our Father, I pray that you should open heaven by grace and release your word of blessings and healing to the listeners. Bless your world and transform lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I bring you to the topic of today that says, Building on human character for destiny result. Building on human character for destiny result. I will be driving us to our text that shall be taken from the first book of Moses called Genesis chapter number 39 from verse 7 through verse 9. Genesis chapter number 39 from 7 to 9. And it came to pass after these things, that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and he said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master walketh not what is with me in the house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither had he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Praise the Lord. As I told you, our topic, born, uh, building on human character. For this new result, what is building? Building is the action for construction of something. What is character? Character is defined the way someone behaves, thinks, or feels. What is destiny? Our destiny is God's purpose. It is our God ordained future. Destiny. Destiny is what God has ordained for us to become. Or his divine wisdom and his divine will. God wants to build our lives to correspond with his plan for our lives. God wants to build our lives to correspond with his plan for our lives. That is the destiny that God has for us. The greater destiny, asset of destiny, is character. Every great destiny needs excellent and quality character. Every great destiny needs quality and excellent character. Building on human character comes first before building on anything 
else. You cannot carry a great destiny, a weak and wrong attitude. It will result on fulfilled destiny. Some people were dumped in life as a result of their character because they have character deficiency. We place high values on our prayers. We place high values on our great dreams. We place high values on our God's promises. Yet, we neglect the place of character. Joseph was destined to be in the palace. But Joseph's character was prepared and built in order to suit the palace. The Bible made us to know that God gave Joseph a great dream, wonderful dream of becoming a king. But that does not end there. They, Joseph was able to allow God to build his character in order for him to suit the palace. A man once said, a lizard in Nigeria cannot become a lion in America. In standing out of this message, we come to realize that God had a great dream and a great plan in our lives, but we need to build our lives first. Not to give us houses, not to give us duplexes, but to build our lives to suit his purpose, to suit his plan for our lives. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 31, verse number 1 to 3, he said, O King Lemuel, the prophecy the mother taught him, O King, do not give thy strength to things that destroy kings. Do not give thy strength to women. Do not give thy strength to alcohol. Do not give thy strength to things that can waste your destiny as becoming the king that God has destined for you. And God made us to know that when Joseph had the dream as God has given to him on what he will become. Joseph hold on that dream and could not allow anything to waste his destiny. When we look at Joseph's life, we see the Christian godly character ingredients that qualified Joseph to make that very dream come to pass of entering into that palace. Joseph has the ingredients character of honesty. Joseph had the ingredient character of discipline. Joseph was honesty, faithful. Joseph has conscience. Because of this conscience, Joseph asked himself, how can I do such horrible wickedness against God? How can I do such horrible wickedness by sinning against God? It was true that the master was not there to check on him. But there is what is called conscience. What is conscience? Conscience is God's built-in knowledge that shows man what is right and what is wrong. Joseph saw that it is a great sin for him to sleep with the master's wife. Because of that conscience, Joseph refused 
will betray the master. In these days we are into, many have lost their conscience. Many people do things without looking what is the result of what they are doing. Many people whom the Lord proposed that they will stand tall and become people that will be used for their generation. They have wasted their destinies as a result of wrong character. My brother, my sister, sometimes we used to think and say that people hate you, people hate you. In that office where you are working, in that business place, in that business center where you are working, how do you behave with your master? Are you honest? How do you behave there? Are you faithful? Many place high value on prophecy. God has prophesied that I will be this, I will be that. Many place high value on praying and praying. Many place high value on wanting of the promise of God and the other. But have you asked yourself, how is my attitude? Many people wrong attitude have done the way God did not move. Can you imagine? In the Bible, the Bible wants us to know that every man's conscience is the custodian of his destiny. Your conscience determines the events of your life. How can I sin against my master? Today, sin. Is no more the other of the day. Even in Christianity, a man say that sin is defined as Satan's identification number or simple instruction neglected. When you begin to neglect the instructions that God has passed across to you in order to order your life. But the Bible says that God ordered the footsteps of his people. You find that Daniel was following the footsteps of God, moving and walking towards the way of the Lord. He did not neglect the instruction that God has given to him. Just as St. Paul said to his son Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter number 1, verse 19. It's a holding faith and a good conscience, which some have been put away concerning faith, made shipwreck. Made shipwreck. Destiny is heading for shipwreck. What is shipwreck? Damage, waste, sink, unfulfilled. When a healthy conscience is unmaintained, when you don't maintain a healthy conscience, it makes our destiny to sin. Look at Samson. For example, Samson was a man that God ordained to deliver his generation. But Samson terminated his destiny. On the love of the land. Samson could not enter and reach to his destiny. A man called Jacob. Jacob slept on the stone of the pillow and had visions. Visions of greatness. But Samson, he wasted the visions and the plans of God for him. And he ended up not fulfilling destiny. The end, he could not be able to fulfill his mandate. Such thing was the major factor. Today, O child of God over there, the Almighty God is coming your way to recover your lost destiny. You are bouncing back to your destiny. For the Bible says, 
In Proverbs chapter number 14, verse number 34, he said, The righteous exalt the nation. Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproof to any people. Righteousness exalts a nation. Righteousness exalts people. But sin is a reproach. Righteousness paved way. Discipline paved way. Discipline, a man that had great destiny must have high level of discipline. When you don't discipline your life, your destiny can have shipwreck. Your destiny can damage. Your destiny can not enter into the purpose who is God having for you. The benefit of righteousness. Righteousness makes you to have a voice before God and man. Genesis 22, verse 17. Another benefit of righteousness. Righteousness is the bulletproof of believers against satanic insurgency. Job chapter number 5, verse 12. He says that he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands and not perform their enterprise. Another benefit of righteousness. Righteousness open your heaven that sin has closed. Just as that very prayer song, he now returned back and said to himself, Why am I dying here? He now recovered and went back to the Father. Another benefit of righteousness is that righteousness, when it is lacking, result is lacking. Righteousness is the foundation for receiving every good thing from the Lord. The promises of God find expression when righteousness is in place. Conclusion. Righteousness promotes and paves way for Daniel, for Joseph, into destiny. Not just the great dream, not just prayer, but righteousness moved him into the purpose of God for him. Be very blessed in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you that God will locate you. Our Father, we thank you at this moment. O Lord, as many that have listened, O Lord, to your word, Father, reach out to them, O Lord. May the righteousness of God begin, O Lord, Father, to raise them into your purpose and your plans for their life. Touch lives, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, and glorify the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for listening. Is there anyone among you that is blessed by this message? Is there anyone among you that God has touched by this message? I would like you to send and call this number. We are interested in your spiritual concern, for your spiritual welfare and your physical welfare is our concern. We have our address at number one, three, and five, Barrack Street, Fergie, Onisha. We always hold our service at Fergie, Onisha, number one, three, and five, Barrack Street, Fergie, Onisha, by 9 a.m. But if you will come, I will be happy to see you. Then if you want us to come to your house, we will come and pray with you. We have our number. If you want to call us, call us 070-6643-4871. I repeat again. 070-6643-4871. Remember, bless. God bless you. We'd like to see you some other time. I belong to Jesus. I am glad I belong to Jesus. I am glad I belong to Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Born to Live brought to you by Christ Holy Church International, Odozio Bodo, every Wednesday, 12.30 to 1 p.m. here on Odenibo, 99.1 FM.